Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it may be. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a pretty little thing clothing try on haul. Uh, pretty little thing, one of my favourite brands. I'm sort of the loyal member a pretty little thing like you know when you can have the loyalty and you can have it when you pay like 9.99 and they deliver next day for you for a year that's how loyal i am to this brand and they very kindly asked me if i wanted to pick up some lounge bits with obviously staying at home with the quarantine and the lockdown i wanted to pick up some gorgeous um sort of loungewear stuff for you guys to try on and also i've got a few sort of snazzy bits that you can wear on those quiz calls that you do on zoom or house party um or if you just want to get dressed up get glam put on a nice dress and pop to tesco then you do you so yeah without further ado if you're interested in seeing what i picked up from pretty little thing we've got a nice big bag here then carry on watching starting off with what i'm wearing actually also don't mind my earrings. I actually do not have my ears pierced. I am too much of a scaredy cat, a wuss, whatever you want to call me, you call me it. But literally since a young age to now, I'm 24, I'm still petrified to go to Claire's and get guns put in my ears. So we're rocking some clip-on earrings today. Really out of my comfort zone, not really sure. Think it looks okay, I mean, you guys tell me but also if you know any brands that do really good clip on earrings um let me know in the comments below um but yeah so we're just rocking this stone color really really basic but sort of sleek looking jumper now i get all of these sort of jumpers in an oversized size i got this one in a size large and it just says pretty little thing in a white italic right in across the front and then it comes nice and cuffed i will show you on a try on clip so you can see the sort of length of it but i just think it's one of those pieces that just looks really cool and looks really quite expensive i do really like this color let me just move back a little bit so you can see me a bit better um yeah i mean i've got loads of these from pretty little thing ones that are just plain don't have any writing on but like i said i love the brand so i don't mind that it says it across the front there but yeah rocking this nice and comfy as well and looks really really nice for the tan so me i am always tan so i just feel like the stone contrasts the umpa lumpa in me pretty little thing um jumper i love it just got it on my jeans you can see in the mirror here kindly um but this is the sort of length it comes to and it's just a nice sort of oversized boyfriend kind of fit um, and yeah, you can wear it with jeans, joggers, cycling shorts if you want to. I just really like the colour and I like the white detailing of the embroidery. So along with sort of me living in loungewear and tracksuit bottoms and oversized things, I have actually been doing couch to 5k. So getting out of the house um, once a day and doing a run. Um, so I... I am not. I am not a fitness person. I am. I do not go to the gym before the whole lockdown situation. I'm not into it. Um, but I'm really, really enjoying it at the moment. And I just don't have any sort of active wear. So pretty little thing. Do actually do quite a lot of um fitness gear. So I just picked up this bright Barbie pink long sleeved, um, I guess running top, gym top, whatever you want to call it. I really like a long sleeve one. I don't know what it is. I just find them quite flattering on the body because um, they're nice and tight. So this is literally a bright fuchsia pink. I got mine in a size small. It's got sort of grey detailing. It is a luminous. So you're going to be seen if you're running in the dark. I wouldn't advise running in the dark, but you're going to be seen. So you're not going to um, get hit or anything like that. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's literally just a plain bright pink long sleeved running top and i'll probably wear this with like running shorts or running leggings or you could even probably wear this quite coolly with some joggers in the house um oh yeah i just thought it was a really really nice color quite different and really really good in price as well i'm a bobby girl in a bobby world life is plastic this is tight not gonna lie she is tight this is a small i guess they're meant to be tight but like self-explanatory kind of top really nice got a bra and i would probably normally wear a sports bra with this with it being outfit um with it being active wear and we'll soak up that sweat when you've run in and you've had enough and you're getting hot um but yeah i really wish they had like matching bottoms or would that be too much probably but yeah love love this is what it looks like on with the lining nice with a tan this is one of the first items that I put in my basket because I love a co -ward. Any loungewear that has a matching top and bottom, I am all for it. So 
I really wanted to get this and they did it in different colours, they did it in a black and they did it in a grey also but I just feel like I've got quite a lot of black and grey loungewear at the moment, I just wanted to mix up the colour a little bit, keep it nice and neutral. So this is this two piece, I guess beige you would call it, v neck top this is what the top looks like and then it's got the white line detailing along the arms which I think is really really nice and then it's sort of like a knitted material as you can see with a cuff there so I got mine in a size small but it is really quite oversized as you can see so maybe have a little think about what size you want um, and when obviously I've got it on my body you'll be able to see what I mean but this is what the top looks like I think a v-neck's quite cool as well like I said I've got lots of crew necks like this sort of jumper so a v-neck just gives it a bit more classiness um this would be really really nice for like i said like a zoom call if you've got a nice nice date on the camera then this would be a really, really nice piece and then the bottom to match it again exactly the same color knitted as well this is what the waistband looks like so it's got a nice little drool drool stick drool string so you can snatch your waist in um and then again it goes all the way down carrying on with the white lining detailing all the way down and then the bottom is a cuffed hem to match the cuffed arms so yeah i'm really really excited to pop this on i know i'm going to be living in this one and if i like obviously the way it looks like and the way it feels then i might get the other colors as well so yeah this is a really stunning piece i'm really impressed with the quality um and it, it would be it's not too thick but it's thick enough so it wouldn't be see-through which is really quite nice so yeah i'm really really excited to try this one on so this is the beige two-piece i am obsessed with this i really like it it's so comfortable i really like the line i think that's what makes it sort of different and not just a plain cohort so the waist is i've got a little jewel string here as you can see a little jewel string and then the top is obviously got the little bit where it goes tight at the bottom or you can just tuck it over and wear it like that i'd probably wear it like this with the lining all the way down the leg and it's just really really like comfortable cute chilling vibes love the line and then the cuffed um bottoms as you can see here you could also tuck it in have it more of like a jumpsuit sort of sort of vibe i'll just do that you could just tuck it in and then drape it out a little bit so it looks like an all-in-one but i just think it is absolutely beautiful i am really in love with it i think i prefer it tucked in like so but i'm definitely gonna get it in every other color or like i said and um it's quite casual as well Next up is a oversized, I don't really know how to explain this colour, it's sort of like a mauve and a taupe put together and it's sort of got like an acidy wash sort of look to it. I saw Molly May wearing this on the website and it looked gorgeous on her so I thought we'll give it a go. I mean it's not going to look nowhere near as good as on me as it did her but God loves a tryer. So this is what it looks like, this is the colour, it has a little, um, what do you call that, um, uh, print I guess I, may, I want to say something like a motif mo a print anyway a print um on the right hand side right here and it just says 1987 New York and then what I really liked about this top is the back detailing I think it's quite different and unique um so it just has like a beigey brownie sort of square <laughs> with white writing and I just feel like it looks quite cool looking um I think it would look really nice with my new earrings may I ask <laughs> so we'll see what it looks like on the child clip I got this in a size large so it's nice and oversized I would probably pair this with cycling shorts or jeans or joggers um but it's just one of those where it's nice and loose it's not going to be tight to your body so it's going to be really really comfortable whilst we're staying at home but yeah and they're really really nice as you can see i've got a nice big oversized so i could probably get away with wearing nothing um on bottom so if it was a really summer su sunny summer's day and you just wanted to rock this with a pair of trainers um a high top converse would look quite cool there i think that'd be really 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 nice look and i'm excited to get this on i am officially in love with this top i am so chuffed that i got the size large so that you can literally wear it as a dress with maybe like a little pair of cycling shorts but to be honest i think you could probably get away with it especially in the summer days and then this is what the back looks like so it's got that sort of let's move the tag vintagey design which is what i really liked about it 
and yeah it's just it's just really quirky really cool come up close now so you can see this is the sort of color it's looking like like a acidy washed and then you've got the design there but i i am obsessed with this one i know i keep saying i'm obsessed with every item but this is lovely you could even tuck it into a pair of joggers if you wanted you could tie it up and wear it with leather jeans um if that's a sort of style you like but like i said i would probably just wear it with some cycling shorts some chunky trainers hair like this probably and you could even wear like a jacket over the top um but yeah it's, it is lovely and like i said it was probably it was really really affordable so amazing if you're looking for some sort of like loungy wear that's sort of a bit stylish um but has a bit of character then i definitely recommend so you know i was talking about um like house party and zoom and all these amazing things that our families are doing to get us all communicating with one another and your friends arranging quiz nights and all these sort of things I think is amazing and I think it's really really nice to have a reason to sort of get dressed up and get in like a maybe like a nice dress or a nice top um do your makeup well, how you normally would if you were going on a night out just for like getting excited and things like that and occasions through the likes of zoom and house party and facetime are amazing so I wanted to get a couple of pieces so that I've got something new that I can put on so I feel good in it so I picked up this khaki ribbed one shoulder dress which I am obsessed with and I cannot wait to wear this um, like out and about as well so this is what it looks like it's just a one shoulder it's like a light khaki sort of color I don't really know how to explain the color it's not a really dark green but it's sort of a mix between a green and a green and a cream a cream green um, so it's just one shoulder like this and then it's a midi length and it is bodycon as well. Really, really versatile. And then I think this would look really nice with like a denim jacket on top as well with some sandals um, for a summer's day. So really, really nice piece. Love the sort of, I love a one shoulder. I love the detailing of the shoulder. I think it looks very elegant and I'm excited for this piece to be in my wardrobe because again, I think it's gonna look nice with these old uh, earrings. I think I'm gonna have to go get some more earrings, you know? Like this, these clothes have inspired me to Go out my comfort zone and put some earrings, as we say in Wales, earrings on. Okay, so this is completely out of my comfort zone, and the reason I'm doing this is because you can you can see stuff, and we want to keep this nice. Um, and I don't have a strapless bra; I don't own one. How bad is that? But this is something that I would never normally get, and. I think it's because it's a bodycon, and I'm not most confident in my body. Um, I know. I'm trying to work on that but it's basically that green sort of khaki one shoulder bodysuit um i i really like it i look in the mirror and i'm thinking i feel a bit weird in it because i'm not used to wearing things like this um but i really like it it's like a midi length i'm not sure if you can see here it goes all the way down i think it's quite flattering i mean i'm not wearing the most suitable pants for it um i have got like pink frilly pants on which probably isn't isn't most practical um but yeah, I, I like it and I'm, I'm trying to breach out of my comfort zone. As you can see, I'm like hiding my belly. It looks super duper expensive and on holiday, this would look really, really nice. It's just, I need to get that, build that confidence and get in things like this because yeah. But yeah, this is her inner glory. This wouldn't be a PLT haul without a pair of joggers. Um, their joggers are an absolute must. I always pick them up and I always find myself rebuying more if that makes sense. So I just picked up a fresh pair of grey ones. Um, they are just the nicest fit and the nicest colour of grey, silly as that sounds. You know some greys that don't, I feel like this has just got that sort of speckled detail in it which I really really like and they're just super really comfortable, super, com super comfortable. Um, so I just got mine in a size 10. I do get them a bit oversized um, and this is what they look like. Do you know what I mean with the grey? It's got that sort of... Um, I don't know how to explain it, like almost not marvel, but like speckly um, sort of detail. So this is what the waistband looks like. And then they're sort of balloony like, so not super tight to your leg, which again, I love when lounging around in the house doing nothing. And then just a cuffed hem at the bottom. I wear these with bodysuits, jumpers like this. Um, you could even wear them with like quite a nice top, like a dressy top and wear the joggers to dress them down. But they're just an absolute staple and pretty little thing. I just love their jogger. I'm always going back there to get my jogger, so I, I guess that, that means something. It means that they're good, and they wash really nicely, and they're also really, really soft. So you'll see what they look like on and what I style them with, with the try on clip. But if you're in need of a new pair of joggers, um, they do these in, like, every single colour. So definitely recommend checking them out. Hockey! Hockey, Jose! We have 
A, black woven plunge structured waist blouse. Yes, I like the sound of that. Oh, I remember what this is. This is beautiful. Now this again is sort of that dressier piece of loungewear. What will look nice with a pair of jogs or will look nice with a pair of jeans or leather jeans or whatever you want to wear it with. So it is a V-neck not that you can see really on the camera balloon style sleeve can you tell i love a balloon style um and then it's got this shirt detailing cuffs on the old sleeves and then it will really i think it's quite tight on the waist um so it's going to really cinch that waist in for you and then with the sort of oversized look on the chest and the arms i feel like that will flatter quite nicely with it being nice and tight on the waist and then ballooned out on the arms and sleeves get this on get this on so we've got a kind of two in one going on here. So we'll start off with the top. This was the sort of balloon style blouse and then it goes in nice at the waist. To be honest, I could have done with getting a smaller size in this top just so it does give me that extra snatch around the waist. But the back of it is super duper cute. I don't know if you can see, it's got like the button detailing. Um, and then to sort of make it cash and lounge wear -y, I've just paired it with the PLT joggers, which like I said, I rave about all the time. They are amazing. Um, they just have the waistband at the top here and then they go down into a cuff little leg like you can see in the video. But yeah, I feel like these two look quite cute together. It just makes dressy up here, chill down here. This is really comfortable so you don't feel as though you're in like a full on structured blouse. Um, but this is obviously a really versatile piece because you could wear it, like I said, with jogs or you could wear it with leather jeans and a pair of boots for like a bit more of a dressy occasion. But I just really like the detailing of it. I really like how it comes in nice at the waist and then it balloons out in a v-neck. And then I haven't done all the buttons up but it's just got like shirt buttons like that all the way down the side. And then these these joggers are just life they're so comfortable and this outfit together is really quite um, i like it a lot i'm so glad i got my hands on this i think i saw jess hunt wearing this and she looked amazing in it and i thought you know what that is going to be a piece that i need in my wardrobe and i'm going to hunt down and find if i can't find it on pretty little thing but luckily it was in stock so it is this khaki checked pocket jacket kind of thing i think they call it a shacket online um but again you can tell my color my favorite colors are khakis cream and black so this is what it looks like obviously it's done up i would probably wear it undone with a little bodysuit underneath or you could probably even wear it over something like this because it is that sort of oversized fit it's really really soft inside i don't know if you can see how soft that is and essentially it's just an oversized checked jacket let's just put it on and see if it look okay with something like this i was planning on wearing it with those gray joggers and like a bodysuit um but you could wear this with all sorts of things oh i love it Yes, I really like this. I think Bear's gonna like it too. Really, really nice. So yeah, it's just basically an oversized little jacket. Little shacket. What does shacket mean? Jacket and a shirt together? Jacket. <laughs> well, it's not, right? <laughs> Brilliant. Mark it in down there. Jacket, no. Um. So yeah, I love this. I mean... It look, it's, it, yeah, I don't really know what more to say about it. It's a shacket, a shacket, ladies and gents. A green shacket. And I think that means shirt and jacket mixed together. I could, could be completely wrong, but we're gonna go with that. Um, really, really nice. These are what the colors are looking like. Stunning. Whilst we've got some black on the top, I thought I'd put on this shacket to show you what it looks like. Now obviously I probably wouldn't wear it with this blouse because the blouse in itself is enough to wear on its own. I would just normally wear this jacket with a plain black sort of top because the main feature of the outfit would be the jacket because it is quite loud and not loud but it's quite different. Um, oh yeah, exactly what I thought. Absolutely obsessed with it. It looks so cool. So comfy, it's got pockets. Again, if you wanted and if it got a bit chilly out there and you were a bit nippy, you could do her up, but I'd wear her down with probably like a high, maybe something like covering the chest area. Um, and then again with joggers, black joggers, gray joggers, or jeans. But one of those pieces that you can wear with all sorts of stuff. PJs, pajamas, jammies, Jim Jams, whatever you call them, is my weakness. So I wanted to pick up a pair from here because I've never actually bought any um, pyjamas from Pretty Little Thing. So I picked up these really cute, really, really cute. Oh, look at them. 
Oh my god, so they are like a grey marl, marl, with a pink star detailing all across them. Nice and cuffed at the sleeves, uh, it's just a little crew neck like this. I got mine in a size small, but it is quite nice and roomy and oversized. So this is what the top looks like. I'm going to be living in these. Do you know what? I'd probably rock this jumper anyway, like out with a pair of jeans. I think it's quite cool looking. I would rock that. And then the matching bottoms, again, exactly the same grey. A nice waistband. So again, it's going to give you that look that you're nice and tucked in. And you could also tuck in the um, top to the um, bottoms and have it look sort of like a jumpsuit. And then they just go all the way down and then they're cuffed at the bottom as well. But I don't remember these being... Um, expensive or anything but they do look really quite expensive and the material is nice and inside it's nice and soft so again these are absolutely gorgeous and fun 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 for lounging around the house i'd probably wear these to those all as well you know rock these two together not gonna lie guys i might just pie this video off now and go for a nap in these because they are to die for exactly what i thought they'd be so cute so like stylish looking I know we're only going to bed but if you're going to bed with stars on your body feeling cute then that's much better than going to bed with a boring pair of pajamas so these are lovely so comfortable on the legs as well um they come in like I said as a little jaw no they don't have a jawstring but they've got like a little waistband and then the top just falls down quite nicely like I said you can have it undone so she's loose like that or you could tuck her in whatever you're fancy in and I do really like the top itself so like I said I would probably wear this like out and about and I feel like these would be a really nice gift for someone if you've got if you're like I don't know doing like a pamper gift for your girl or one of your girlfriends or you want to get some pajamas for your mum or mother's day or something like that they do do loads of different designs and they did do like um I think they just did a plain gray pair with like gray gray stars so it wasn't as sort of different colored um but yeah I know they do quite a lot of they do silky pajamas on there as well so I might have a little look at them next time but I love these and I do not want to take them off I want to take my makeup off and go to bed right now and chill in these. Um, but yeah, I love them. And then I love the cuff detailing at the bottom as well. And then last, we've got a nice practical piece for a lounge in. It is a black jumpsuit, um, which has no sleeves so sleeveless jumpsuit it's got this little like which is really popular at the moment i've noticed i don't know what it's called but it's like a little a tiny v at the top there um and it just shows a tiny little bit of chest which is quite cool sleeveless it goes all the way down the bottoms which i like aren't cuffed so they're nice and floaty but they're not super wide so they're not like boot cut but they're sort of t tapered if that makes sense and then in the middle which I really liked about it again it's got a little waistband here and it's got little tongs so you can again pull it in nice at the waist I just thought it was really really practical really comfortable um, and it's a sort of rib material so it might be the case that when you pull in the waist it sort of pulls a bit of the length of the leg up because they do my legs are definitely not that long wish they were but they're not unfortunately now i was worried in the try on in the clip when i unpacked here that it was going to be a bit too long but it's actually okay i mean it is a tiny bit too long here but with the cinched waist you can sort of like tuck the bottoms up if that makes sense but i really think it's nice it's so comfortable um you can literally move around in there really like the rib material of it sort of like with the lines in and i just think it's it's it is really nice and like i said this sort of I'm vibing this sort of, I don't even know what this is called, it's probably called like a t-shirt sort of like V, um, but yeah this is a lovely piece for loungewear, stay at home, stay cosy and nice and put together with a pair of like um, trainers, this would look really really nice. That, my friends, is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed some of the bits I picked up. I know that some of these are absolute staples for lockdown and chilling and all that good stuff. But if you aren't familiar, PLT do actually have a YouTube channel as well. So I will leave that link down below. And I advise you guys to go and subscribe because they create some great content on there. And I will also leave all of their social media channels as well as mine down below if you're interested in maybe seeing some of these items on myself. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed video and please stay safe
stay inside in your lovely loungewear from PLC and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching, take care and bye bye!